and in the dynamic and ever-changing crypto space, women have continually made their mark uh, challenging gender norms um, and contributing significantly to the growth and advancement of the crypto sector. And the leading women in the crypto space today is Gracie Chen, a managing director of BitGet, a prominent crypto exchange and Web3 company. Uh, Gracie Chen is recognized as an advocate for women in the crypto world, encouraging their growth and participation in the industry by increasing opportunities for females in BitGet's workforce. She also empowers women and girls in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. The education through BitGet's nonprofit organization, DIY Girls. In a conversation with Bitcoinist, Gracie Chen shared valuable insights on her experiences as a woman in the crypto space and offered guidance for women venturing into the industry. Uh, honestly, I didn't think about gender inequality and the lack of representation of women in crypto. Uh, when I joined the industry, at the time I was working as a TV host interviewing celebrities like Tom Hiddleston and Michelle Yale and business leaders such as Tim Draper. Um, one time in 2014, uh, when Bitcoin was trading at approximately $300, my TV friends introduced me to crypto, and it was love at first sight. I was fascinated by the technology and the idea of financial inclusion. So I started investing in major coins like BTC, ETH, and XRP, and are all time after dipping my toes into the fascinating and sometimes crazy world of digital assets. It didn't take long until I became an early investor in BitKeep, now known as BitGet Wallet. And after sharing all the person uh, for, you know, what they're saying, uh, you know, what I would say, and then I got someone in my vote, which, you know, you did uh, know about uh, in terms of uh, the Web3 and FinTech events I attended with my team. And in an industry dominated by men, I felt it was a boys club and was unwelcomed and sometimes even frustrated. These negative thoughts were with me during conferences and last year, also when I served as the CMO at a fintech company in my previous job, where I was the only member of the management team who wasn't male. As a woman, it's not enough to believe in your own leadership skills. With the lack of diversity in crypto, you're more than likely to be negatively difficult, impacted by gender-based bias and the stereotypes female entrepreneurs come across every day. This is probably the reason why women only manage to raise 2% of the dollars investing in VC-backed U.S. startups in 2021, despite an 83% YOI increase in the total amount raised. I would hear, we are fond of you and your project, that we don't plan to invest in female entrepreneurs, especially those who are married but with no children uh, in the 1890s. I say, I say that uh, if all the reasons was an unmastered and differently, uh, I did not have any sort of big life uh, to raise capital for my project. As time passed and crypto adoption took off, the situation has somewhat improved. But it is still far from ideal, though, with women accounting for only 4.13% of crypto founders and 10% of digital asset fund partners. It is safe to say that there's significant room for improvement in this field. I haven't even mentioned the results of a recent report which revealed that 74% of current cryptocurrency holders in the U.S. are men. But thanks to initiatives like DIY and Girls, a charity project initiated by BitGet in collaboration with Juventus players, Moisey Kane, and Wojciech Skesny, which is dedicated to promoting girls' interest in STEM education. The future is looking brighter. Uh, despite demonstrated efficiency in this field, only 33% of women feel confident in their ability to make investment decisions. In terms of crypto, I believe this could highlight the fact that cryptocurrencies are riskier assets due to their increased volatility, and female investors who were more risk-averse and sober than their male counterparts are less likely to invest in them. Reliable user education is necessary to overcome this challenge, so more women will feel confident to enter the space and invest in digital assets. Uh, we've recently published a study revealing that female investors in most markets demonstrate a greater willingness to improve their families' financial situations 
and fund their children's active education expenses or tuition fees through crypto investments. These results indicate that women perform better in some areas than men. And as I see it, uh, the proper representation of females within a company and its leadership uh, can offer crucial benefits for the whole organization, um, such as improved product enhancement and medicine, um, a more positive work environment. It, 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 uh, for instance, uh, women are more empathetic in general than men, which comes in handy for managers who have to care for their teens, a more diverse and inclusive workplace with more involvement from women could create a more open working atmosphere where employees are more willing to express their opinions. This is a significant benefit for female staff whose honest and hopeful advice can substantially improve company culture. Um, women also tend to be less overconfident than men. Uh, from a financial perspective, they're more risk aversive and disciplined nature makes them more effective in investment related risk management. Probably this is one of the many reasons why female investors manage to outshine their male counterparts in this field by earning 10% more annual returns between 2017 and 2020. Uh, despite the lack of representation of women in the leadership of uh, crypto firms, a study revealed that uh, businesses with five or more female executives had the highest success rates of a battle of a battle of compatibility. And interestingly, the lowest success rates were measured among the firms where only a single woman was present on the board. Uh, however, these figures are still better than in the case of startups with no ladies in the leadership, as another report's results show 63% better performance for companies with at least one female founder and those who were completed with an all-male founding. Uh, my advice for female entrepreneurs in crypto is to remember that you are not the elephant in the room. Um, gender inequality it is, a, it, 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 is a, it is an industry that seeks to create a more inclusive and democratic financial system. Uh, and I believe this original ethos should also apply to gender equality as we're also working on building a space that is equally accessible to people, no matter their gender, race, or religion. And while crypto is a male-dominated market, uh, women shouldn't be afraid to enter an incentive. It should serve as an incentive so we can be better represented within the industry, providing tremendous benefits uh, to the space in general. Um, so be prepared for stereotypical behavior, uh, but don't let it lower your confidence or discourage you from becoming a leader or achieving other important goals as a woman. Uh, um, there are definitely enough uh, leadership opportunities for women in crypto. Um, however, as men dominate the space, um, women must work hard and learn how to protect themselves against gender-based bias uh, to take advantage of these possibilities. And so I can do, um, I really love uh, This is why I believe market players should join forces and launch initiatives like DIY Girls so we can increase female representation and finally tackle the challenge of gender inequality. Uh, based on the findings of the same study that revealed that most current U.S. crypto holders are men, women account for 53% of the crypto curious. A new group that has reported key representatives in digital asset investments. Uh, combined with the growing number of initiatives targeting ladies, I believe female participation in the cryptocurrency market will take off significantly in the next few years, which will ultimately result in a more equal space for everyone. Uh, together with my team at BitGet, we're dedicated to tackling the challenge of gender inequality within the industry. While market players have made significant progress in order to help, you will get uh, a separate problem. Uh, being recognized as a global shaper by the World Economic Forum in 2015, I have a mission to increase female representation and contribute to creating equal opportunities for everyone on the market. Uh, besides launching and raising funds for DIY Girls, I have created an inclusive and diverse workplace at BitGet uh, where women represent 40% of the workforce. Uh, this doubles down on our company's position. Uh, as an industry-leading uh, equal opportunity employer.
that is committed to uh, making the positive impact on society. Uh, uh, ultimately, I want to change the way uh, uh, girls and women perceive careers in crypto. Uh, to achieve this goal, we need to research uh, their preferences, demands, uh, and the challenges that are currently preventing them from, from joining the market. Um, you know, at the same time, crypto firms should launch initiatives targeting women, which could result in more internship and employment opportunities for ladies, uh, as well as help create more female-friendly work environments. And of course, my favorite cryptocurrency is BGB. It remains the best performing exchange token in 2023. According to data from a Token Insight report, BGB led all exchange tokens in Q2 and Q1. Except for LEO, MX, and OKB, all other CEX platform tokens had a negative return. Aside from BGB, I'm also hodling the OG tokens like BTC, ETH, USDT, and USDC. In general, I believe the bear market is finally coming to an end, considering that BTC recently has broken out of the $35,000 level amid BlackRock's imminent spot ETF and approval. Uh, the charts seem to show that uh, bulls are now in charge of the digital asset industry. Uh, and moreover, the next uh, Bitcoin halving is only six months away, which is uh, expected to kickstart a major bull run uh, based on historical price trends. In the meantime, I expect crypto adoption to increase gradually as more men and women are getting familiar with cryptocurrencies and their underlying technology. Uh,